What's up, people? Hope you're doing fine. This is a session by Digital Titans where we talk about Google AdWords common terms or terminology as you may call it. If you remember, we had discussed about how to create an AdWords account, how, to, how do you sign up for an AdWords account for free uh, without having to enter your uh, payment information. And after you sign up for your AdWords account, that is when you would go ahead and create your campaigns or ad groups or, or you would progress ahead with your AdWords account set up as such. In the meantime, there is something else we would have to discuss which is the AdWords common terms which you would need to know and you would need to understand or get an idea about if you would want to go ahead and start advertising on Google. So the moment you create an AdWords account and you log into the AdWords account, you would see a lot of things, uh, a lot of terms which you may not have heard before. Some of them you might have heard before and you might have a basic idea of what they mean. But there, there would be a lot of things that you wouldn't have a clear cut understanding about what they are and whether they matter to you when you're creating an AdWords account or not. So this is an attempt by Digital Titans where we clearly show you what, what are all the basic terms and terminologies that you should really understand before you take or before you dive into AdWords and AdWords account sign up and creating campaigns as such. So moving on, so let's get started. Here are a few, here are the few most commonly used Google AdWords terms that all the digital marketers should be aware of. And to be precise, and even before we begin, please understand that AdWords is the name of the advertising platform that Google owns. And this is an intermediary where, you know, a lot of people who are advertisers and people who are users meet. So Google AdWords is a platform where users and advertisers come onto a common ground and they would transact with each other with whatever they, they, they want. Now, a basic idea of, of AdWords is you search on Google about what you want and there are a set of advertisers who are already advertising on those things. And if, if that is exactly what you're looking for, you would click on the ad and go to the website of the advertiser and then you would start you know, transacting whether it's a sign up or a lead or a purchase or whatsoever. Now, you should understand that AdWords is trademarked in, in a particular way and if you observe, A and W in Google AdWords are in the uppercase. So they are, Google AdWords is trademarked that way. Now, going ahead and talking about what the various uh, terms or the terminology that, that you would need to understand, let's start with something called as click. Now, when you search for something on Google search, and you would see a lot of ads and you would also see a lot of uh, free listings. Now, when somebody, when a user clicks on an ad, if, if I mean, if, if that is exactly what he wants, so if you click on the ad, you would go to the website of the advertiser and the moment you click on the ad, it gets registered. The AdWords system captures that as a click and it would show you in the reports. Now, you should also understand that how would I, how, how could I click on an ad? For, for me to click on an ad, I should at least see the ad first, right? So when you search for them, now here is how it works. So you go to google.com, you put in a search term or a keyword, and Google displays certain ads and free listings on Google. Now, the moment an ad is displayed, it is, it is called as an impression. The moment you click on the ad, that's called as a click. So if you look at the what impression means, it says for a user to click on an ad, he or she has to view the ad. When an ad gets displayed on, on Google search, it is counted as an impression. So for, for an advertiser to get a click, there should be an impression. There should at least be one impression. Now, that not everybody who is going to look at the ad is going to click on the ad, right? So inevitably, the number of impressions will always be more than the number of clicks. So this is an understanding of clicks and impressions. When a user searches for something on Google search, and if the ad shows up, it is termed as an impression. And if the user ends up clicking on the ad, it gets registered as a click in the AdWords system. And the most important thing is budget. I mean, if you, all of us know that Google's AdWords is, or, or Google search advertising is, 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 is not a free platform, or it's, it's not a, a, a free way of promoting things, right? So it is a paid service, and that's, and that's exactly why it is called as search engine marketing. And since it is paid, 
you should also have an understanding of how much would I want to spend. Now, Google, unlike most of the other platforms, does not impose uh, upon the advertiser about how much he has to spend as a minimum. Now, the, the advert system kind of gives the flexibility to the advertiser to decide how much he wants to go ahead with. And technically, he could go ahead with $1. Uh, I'm not suggesting that somebody should go with $1 because it's too small an amount to advertise. But technically, advert system lets you start your campaigns with $1. So, an advertiser who is willing to advertise with Google has the complete flexibility to choose how much he wants to spend on ads. And it's also uh, very, very uh, important to know that when you say budget in Google AdWords, you're talking about a daily budget. Now, as an advertiser, I might be under the impression that I would, I would be okay with investing about $30,000 a month, but when you're creating an AdWords account, when you, when you finish your account setup, you would have to give in your budget as a daily budget. So $30,000 a month means $1,000 a day. So Google AdWords calculates or takes into account your daily budget. Then moving on, we have bid or CPC. CPC stands for cost per click. Now, it is also called as bid. Now, let's, let's go through the system again. When somebody searches on Google, you would see a set of ads. And if a user likes a particular ad, or if that's exactly what he's looking for, he would click on the ad. When he clicks on the ad, he would be redirected to the website of, of the advertiser. Now, as we discussed already, Google AdWords is a platform that brings advertisers and users together. So without Google, advertiser and the user would not have met up with each other. Now, since Google has brought these two people together, when somebody clicks on an advertiser's ad, it, it's, it's, it, the, the way it works is the advertiser would end up paying Google for that click. Now, the amount that the advertiser is paying for that, for, to Google for that click is called as bid or it, it could also be termed as cost per click. Now, if you quickly read through what's written under bid or CPC, it says AdWords is a platform that brings users and advertisers onto a common platform. Since Google is the intermediary, the advertisers would have to bid and decide how much are they are comfortable paying for a click. So the amount that the advertisers pay for the click is called as bid or CPC. Right. Now, if you also look at it, this is termed as bid or cost per click. It is termed as bid because AdWords is an auction-based advertising model. So what auction-based uh, advertising model means is, I'll, I'll give you a brief overview of what it means now, but we would have another session in depth where we discuss about these things. Now, what does auction mean? Auction means whoever bids higher wins the auction. Now, if you, if you look at the traditional uh, uh, definition of, of an auction, there is a product that is being auctioned and the person who is the highest bidder ends up paying the, the amount and then he owns the product. Now, in AdWords advertising, it does not necessarily mean that the person who is bidding the highest will always win the auction, but it's, it's an auction based, right? So there are a group of advertisers who are willing to uh, uh, bid for a particular keyword and it, it, it is an auction based, but who wins the battle at the end of the day? is another story as far as Google AdWords is concerned because money is not the only important thing for AdWords. Now, since there is a lot of advertisers involved and since there is a lot of bidding involved, this is called as an auction-based model. Now, then what is a keyword? As, as, as we already know, the moment you go onto google.com, it's not going to search on its own and show you the results, right? So you would have to put in a keyword and based upon that keyword, Google would show you all the relevant results from the internet and then they would they would show you in a particular order. So keyword is, is the phrase that you put in when you want to search for something. Please understand, keyword is the most important element in the AdWords ecosystem. Then we have something called as CTR, which is click-through rate. So let's quickly go back and, and get a glimpse of what click and impression means again. When a user searches for a keyword on Google, you call it as an impression. If the user ends up clicking on any of the ads, it's called as a click. Now, the, the ratio between clicks and impression is called as click-through rate. Now, if you look at the definition, it says CTR is the ratio of the number of clicks to the number of impressions. It shows the clickability of an ad or a keyword. Now, the way it is calculated is how many users clicked on my ad from the impressions that, have, that they have seen. 
So if you talk about 1000 people seeing your ad and 10 people clicking on your ad, now there is, there is a 10 to 1000 ratio, right? And the way CTR is calculated is you divide the number of clicks by the number of impressions and you multiply that by 100. Now CTR is always a percentage figure. And there is no need for us to calculate these for every keyword or for every ad that we have in our account. The AdWords system calculates the CTR automatically. Then what is an ad? So when somebody searches for a keyword, when a user searches for a keyword on Google search, he would see a set of ads, right? So that is, that is termed as an ad. And there is a format for, for all the ads that you see on Google. You would have two headlines. You would have a description line where you could describe about your product or service. And then you have two URLs, one of them that you, that you would see on the ad. And, and there's another URL that you would see when you go to, when you click on the ad and go to the website. So the URL that you see when you look at the ad on Google search is called as the display URL. And the URL or the, or the, or the link that you see when you go to the website after clicking on the ad is called as the destination URL. And there would be another session in detail about uh, what the ad formats are and how, uh, show, how they show up on Google and how you can write better ad text and things like that. Then we have something called as landing page. So as we discussed, when somebody clicks on the ad, they go, they go to the website of the advertiser, right? So the destination. Now the page that you would land when you click on the ad is called as landing page, as simple as that. Ad we have already discussed and then moving ahead. So then there is something called as an account. So the first thing that you would do as an advertiser, if you really want to advertise on Google, is to sign up for Google AdWords. The previous video, that the, the session that we have seen, shows you how to sign up for an AdWords account. Now, when you sign up for an AdWords account, now you have an account, right? The account is empty now. There is nothing else in the account. Now, when the advertiser decides to advertise with uh, Google AdWords, he or she would have to create an AdWords account first. Now, that's termed as an account. And to create an AdWords account, all you would need is any email ID and password that you could use to sign up and then you could log into the AdWords account using that. Now, the moment you have created an account, it's not the end of the job because creating an account is, is just the beginning. Now, the moment you create an account, there is nothing else in the account. Now, you have to put in a lot of things like campaigns, ad groups, and so on and so forth. Now, the next thing that we would want to talk about is a campaign which says an account is divided into campaigns. If an account determines who is the advertiser, campaigns indicate what product categories does the advertiser wants to advertise. Now, the, the next session that we would talk about will be an in-depth in analysis or in-depth understanding of the account structure. But as of now, understand this. When you create an account, you would have to create campaigns in the account. So if you look at the, uh, the hierarchy, you would create the account first. And once you create the account, you would create campaigns. Campaign basically means the product category that the advertiser wants to advertise. Going one step ahead, campaigns are further divided into ad groups. Ad groups are the, the how, how you could divide the product category further. For example, if you're talking about shoes, if, if shoes is a campaign, now ad groups would, would be formal shoes, sport shoes, running shoes, tennis shoes, and so on and so on. Now, the next point, if you observe, it says account has campaigns. Campaigns have ad groups. Ad groups have keywords and ads. So this is how the accounts are structured in Google AdWords. Why is it structured this way? We have no idea. Google says this is the structure and we should have to follow it. However, there are a lot of best practices for you to create the most detailed account structure which, which could benefit you in a lot of ways, which we would talk about when we talk about account structure in detail. Let's go ahead and there's a lot of uh, discussion going on about digital marketing and PPC and you, you see a lot of people talk about PPC and there are a lot of blogs, websites which talk about PPC. So what does it mean? PPC primarily stands for pay-per-click. It means it's a format of advertising where advertisers decide to pay the service provider in some kind, right? So now since we're talking about clicks at the moment, let's say if you are willing to pay your, your service provider for clicks, it's called as PPC. Now, PPC ads are not just limited to Google. They're available on platforms like Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, third-party websites. You will see a lot of blogs where they show ads. Now, wherever you see these ads and wherever it says sponsored, it means these are all pay-per-click ads or PPC ads. Ad rank. 
So at the end of the day, why are all the advertisers fighting for? What are they fighting for? They're fighting for that one primary spot where they would want to show up at the top most position so that you know the users can, can give them the most priority. Now ad rank is where is your ad showing at the moment? If your ad, ad shows at the top position on Google, it means that that is the, is the rank one, right? Now, no matter how much we talk about ads, it, it is not only important to show in the first position and things like that, but, but aren't we all psychologically programmed to assume that the ad that shows in the top position is the best ad? So ad rank is, is what it is, and ad rank means or, or it denotes at what position is the ad showing when somebody searches for a keyword on Google. Now then we have something called as ad extensions. Now if you quickly go back and look at what an ad contains, now it says an ad contains two headlines, one description line and there are two URLs. Now apart from the ad, if you also have the flexibility to add a phone number or physical location of the business. You could import some reviews from a third party uh, site where people have reviewed, your customers have reviewed about you. Now this basically gives the uh, users a lot, of, a lot of information to fall back upon and they could take better judgments and they, they could get a better understanding about your business. Now Google recently um, uh, in, intimated all the advertisers that it would consider ad extensions in deciding which position your ad would show. So inevitably ad extensions, though they sound boring, and I'm, I'm not saying they're boring, but this is the feedback of a lot of trainees and businesses that we train. And they say that it's, it's, it's just, it just takes too much effort and, it, and we, are not, uh, we don't find it interesting to give ad extensions. But, you know, it is what it is. So Google considers ad extensions when deciding your ad rank. So you better be there, give as many extensions as possible and make sure your ads rank higher. Now, these are the basic terms and, uh, and uh, terms and conditions in which your ads would show up on Google. And in the next session that we have, we would be talking about account structure in detail and how you would structure your accounts. And we would also take an example and see if you have a product, how should you approach structuring the account? Because please do not remember, if you have a detailed account structure, it really, really, really helps you in bumping up your ad position when somebody searches for it. That's it for, for now. Thank you so much for your time. And please do visit us at www.titans.digital and subscribe to our YouTube channel on Digital Lightens. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great day and see you soon. Thank you so much.